It's what you want, Paul. To you can show us uh, what you've done. Explain to us what you've done. Okay. Don't worry for the lag. So we're um, waiting. I worked uh, on uh, new features uh, in the G GXF. Um, basically, uh, the contract was well. The, the idea was to add some new ways to describe everything that you want to show around the network when you do a network visualization. Um, what I had, what we have in mind here is more specifically. I will show Gephi right now. So in Gephi, uh, when you uh, choose network colors uh, for the nodes or for the edges, uh, you use uh, the partition or uh, the ranking tool. Um, and when you do that, you basically, sorry, I'm just reopening a network now. So for instance, in this network, I can, I can decide to change the color uh, depending on the type of the, of the node. And when I click, I just say, please, Gephi, uh, when you have a node, uh, to decide what color it is, you first have a look at the type attributes in the node data. And depending on the value, you would choose one of this color. Mm -hmm. So we do a mapping between data in the node and, and, and colors. So basically, if you look at this picture here, this, this part of the GIF interface is, uh, is, is used to actually decide which color, but it's also, it also acts as a legend. If you want to know why this one is green, you have a look here and say it's because it's a verb and that's an objective. Oh, actually, this is a, a language um, um, a network where I cut down, um, uh, actually, uh, sorry, I cut down, uh, up a text into uh, into uh, words uh, and so yeah so this is a legend so for for those who used uh, Gephi uh, to uh, to show networks to people one common um, uh, things to, we were doing uh, was to actually take a screenshot of this part of the interface uh, yeah. and then paste this into uh, some uh, picture uh, software like uh, Illustrator or, or mm. um, uh, Photoshop. Um, it's nice. It's, it's not good in, enough. Uh, what we want to do is to actually to to put this information into the GXF. What we have now, if I um, uh, output this in the in the GXF file, so in the XML representation of the network, we will know that this node is green, this one is orange, and this one is purple. But we don't know why. Mm -hmm. We don't know if it's it has been done using some uh, data attributes or if it has been done by hand, because mm -hmm. I could also do this choice by hand. Uh, nobody does that, but you could. Um, so um, our objective was to try to see how we can put into the XML all the these attributes origins. Same ID with the positions. If I change uh, um, the layout, the nodes will have different positions. And when I output, export this into a JXF, uh, I will have X, Y information for all of the nodes, but I will not know if it's because I use open odd or for setlist two or by hand. Mm -hmm. So the solution we, uh, where we stand about this. So I uh, wrote, um, I extended the JUXF XML uh, format uh, specification to add those information inside the, inside the format. Um, what you see here is a pull request. So it's um, actually the work I've been doing on the, on the format specifications that I propose for discussion with the community. Here I explained uh, more or less what I told you uh, now. Um, oh, we, we also want to, uh, we also propose to add the title element into the graph file because we had description author, but no title. And title is actually a nice thing to have when you do a visualization. Um, and to extend the Viz module to add a lot of different ways to, um, to do the, um, the scale uh, thing. I don't think I can, I will take time to show you the details of it. You can go to this web page and have a look. Uh, but for people who doesn't know how it works, this is a cool thing about open source and doing things together. Uh, mm -hmm. Mathieu just uh, uh, read uh, my work and said like had two comments and uh, we are starting to discuss because there's no one, not one way to do it. There's plenty of ways to do it. So we are discussing now on uh, how to do it correctly and uh, and how to um, how to to, uh, to actually find the best solution for everyone in the future. And actually, this is a comment that I just back one minute ago. So <laughs> um, so we are. It's a work in progress.
Yeah, okay, fine. That's all for me. Fine. Thank you very much, Paul. It's really interesting to see that Gephi has a kind of native format or specialized format, and we are just working on it to make it uh, more consistent. And it's really, really interesting. 